Okay, to begin, I would like to tell all of you a little bit about my story. So I was born in Washington State, America, with my twin sister, Abigail, on June 17, 2001. Right after we were born, our whole family came back to Taiwan, which is where my parents grew up. I finished preschool and elementary school here in Taiwan, and when I was in sixth grade, my two sisters and I made what seems to be the biggest decision at the time, which is to go back to America and live with our aunt, uh, our aunt's family. We ended up staying there for, uh, staying in the U.S. for three years, and now I'm currently enrolled in an American school in Taiwan. So with all these being, all these being said, I think eight years of Taiwanese local school, three years of American local school, and uh, two years of international school has proven me somewhat familiar with both cultures. Um, even uh, ever since I went to America, my Taiwanese friends and relatives have been asking me the same questions, which is, which country do you like better? And usually they will follow the question with something like, I bet you love Americans, America so much that you don't even want to come back, right? And they'll go on with some other friends of theirs and how much their children love America. Well, although I enjoy staying in, in the States, my answer will be slightly different to that. I think, I think like everything else, there's pros and cons to both countries. In terms of education, Taiwan has a lot to learn from America. Let's start with the biggest difference between the two systems. Taiwan's elementary school to high school systems is pretty much like America's elementary school. Every student has a fixed schedule and they do not get to pick electives. This really limits the students from discovering new interests and learning knowledge other than the ones that, that are thought to be important by the school or the Board of Education. But it is because of this big schedule, the students in Taiwan are separate into several classes and they'll stay in that class for the whole year and they'll develop relationships that are harder to have in American style system where you have different classmates for each class. Another difference uh, between the two systems is that through America's education, you learn to take on responsibilities. Students are only able to see their own grades, therefore they have to take, uh, therefore there are less peer pressure and they have to take initiative to improve their, themselves. Also, you have to decide how much work you are going to do and if you are willing to challenge yourself with harder courses like APs and honors. Rather than that, in Taiwan, there are uh, class and school rankings for finals and tests that creates pre uh, peer pressure, and along with teachers and students, uh, that uh, along with teachers and parents, students are pushed to achieve better grades instead of taking responsibility and accomplishing su success on their own. Now let's talk about conveniency. Taiwan is an island that's only about 3, 000, uh, 36,193 kilometers square large. And so compared to America, it's obvious that Taiwan is more convenient than America. You can get a meal within a five minute walk and uh, there's nearly, uh, there's one 7-Eleven in nearly every corner. You can finish everything you need to do in one day, like going to the bank or grocery shopping in one day. But in America, you're lucky to accomplish just one thing. Now you might think, oh, America is such a horrible place to live in, but there are actually benefits to the size of America. And it's because of its size that so many different cultures and people groups can be in it. So with all these being said, there are pros and cons to, each, uh, to both countries. And it is those pros and cons that gives the countries their characters. And so, no matter which country you're in, be content with where you are.